Hello everyone, it's Benny here, and welcome to my lightweight Java game library development series. In this series, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about developing games with lightweight Java game library. So to start off, we're going to need to get lightweight Java game library. That's easy enough. Just go to your web browser and go to lwjgl.org. And it will take you to the homepage of the lightweight Java game library. Just click download and then you can download it from here. Now this won't directly download it, it will take you to SourceForge.net and you'll see a couple of options. You will actually want to download all of these, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I guess I'll be back once this is downloaded. Okay, and we're back. Now what you just download is you download four things. You download the Light Witch of Game Library itself, Lightweight Java Game Library for applets, the documentation, and the source code. So, first thing you want to do is you want to take the Lightweight Java Game Library itself and just extract it to anywhere for now. And there you go. And this will give you this nice folder. Now, you want to create a new folder in here for the source code, just call it SRC. And in the source, just take everything in here and drag it into the source folder. And it will take a moment. And there you go. Uh, oh, it's gonna be slow, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for this to finish. So one moment. So when it's finished doing that, you should have this folder with everything that was in the source zip file. So now you can delete the source zip file. You don't need it anymore. Now next, we have the applet, which just has this. And you can just take this applet folder right here and just pull that into here. And I'm, if I'm not mistaken, that should be everything you need in here. So you can go ahead and delete this. Now docs, you don't actually want to do anything with. You'll just want to leave that as it is right now. And now you can also delete the lightweight Java game library zip. You will not need it anymore. So now, you got this. You should will probably want to place it somewhere meaningful. And actually, you want to place this little documentation zip file inside of here. Uh, so yeah. And there you go. Now you want to place it somewhere meaningful on your hard drive. Like say, in your Java folder. Now I already have it in there, so I'm just going to delete this, because I personally don't need it. I already have it set up. So there you go. You now have Lightweight Java Game Library on your computer. Now I'm going to show you how you can set it up with the IDE I will be using in this series, which is NetBeans. So, if you give me one moment. Once you have your editor open, what you want to do is you want to go to Tools, and you want to go to Libraries. Now, you'll just want to create a new library here for the Lightweight Java Game Library. I'm going to call mine LWJGO. And you might want to put your version number in there, like I do for the one I have, but it, it doesn't really matter that much at this point. <coughs> so now you want to add your jar slash folder. Now, you want to go to where you put it. I put mine in my Java directory, so that will be under Computer, Local Disk C, to Program Files, to Java. And you notice I have Lightweight Java Game Library. Under here, you'll want to go to jar. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Under here, you want to go to jar, and you want to take everything in here and just what you can do with shift and click again and hit add. And now we have everything for like with Java game library, at least for desktop development. Now, if you want to develop for an applet, we'll need to do a little bit more. You'll want need to go to applet under advanced, add both things in here, and under basic add everything in here. And there we go. We now have jars for everything. So now I've finished our class path, now we need to set up our sources. This is just the source code. This We can use this for reference when we're actually writing in Lightweight Java Game Library. So go under source to source and select the Java generated folders and there you go. So that's set up all the source code we need. Now Java doc this will be all the documentation we can look at to help understand some things. So, you just want to select the entire zip folder and just click OK. And now with all this done, we now have Lightweight Java Game Library installed. So let's go ahead and create our 
very first and most basic lightweight Java game library application. Let's just click New Project, let's create a Java application. I'm just going to call it LWJGL Application. You can call anything you want. And I'm not going to generate a main class because I like creating them myself. And click Finish. And there we go. Now, just because I like creating packages, I'm going to create a package for this. Com dot base uh, com dot game dot base dot uncategorized. So there's my package, and in this package, I'm going to create my main class. So I'm going to create a main class. And here we go. Same thing we've seen a thousand times before. And uh, just going to create a main method. Pick void main. And actually, before I do this, I'm going to zoom in a bit so it's a little bit easier for you to read. So there we go. We have a main class with a main method. So now let's add Lightweight Java Game Library to our project. To do this, we just right-click Libraries, Add Library, select Lightweight Java Game Library, and just click Add. Now, the only thing we need to do is we need to reference the natives. And the natives are, well, I I'll explain those later if you want them explained, but for now, you just know you need natives, or it will not run. So, oh, just do d java dot library dot path under. Well, actually, I should, I should explain how they got this. Right click on your project, go to properties, and go to run because naves are a runtime thing. Under VM options, do d java dot library dot path, and you want to say equals and some two quotes. Now, in here, you will want to go to your directory for your lightweight Java game library wherever you put it and just go to native to, and then whichever operating system you're on I'm on Windows and you'll notice a whole bunch of DLLs what you want to do is you want to take whatever this address is and copy it as text and just paste that in between these parentheses or not parentheses but yeah I mean quotations excuse me just click OK and there we go so now we can start doing some stuff in Lightweight Java Game Library. How am I doing on time? Okay, I'm doing good on time. Alright, so... Let's just start basic. Let's make a blank window. So, Lightweight Java Game Library has a static class that is used for creating windows. So we can access this by just calling the display class. So, display. First thing we'll want to do is we'll want to set default resolution. So, set... Or, yeah, set display mode, excuse me. And this will let us to set the resolution of our thing. Now we'll need a display mode set, so we'll create a new display mode to set it to. And for now, we'll just do 800 by 600, and we can change this later if we want to. And import. And make sure you, when you import, you do org.lwjgl.opengl.display mode, not the one in java.awt. Do not do awt, that's a different display mode. So, this is what your import should look like, and there you go, we've created this. And you'll get an error right now, because it needs to be in try and catch, but that's okay. So now, we need to actually create the display. So now we just do display.create, spelled correctly. There you go, and now we'll need this under the um, and the try catch, so I'll do the alt-enter thing, and I'll just uh, surround a block with try and catch. So this has created a blank window for us. Now we'll need a while loop, and this will be our main game loop. So I'll just put a comment, game loop, and a comment, create display, just for organization purposes. Now our game loop, we're going to want to do while not display dot is close requested. And this is a Boolean method that will return true if we click the close button, or if we attempt to close the window in any manner whatsoever. So essentially, as long as the display is running, it will be in here, and it will exit out of the loop as soon as we tell the display that we want to close it. 
through any means we can possibly imagine. So nice, fairly convenient method that Lightweight Java Game Library provides for us. And now every time, now as long as we're not closing the window, we need to update the window. The way we do this is display dot update. And this is essentially the most basic Lightware 8 Java Game Library application you can create. So if I go ahead and hit run, click OK, and you'll notice it's running. And we haven't gotten any errors, so that means it's loaded everything correctly. And we get a completely blank Lightweight Java Game Library window. But that's okay, because that means that it's been installed correctly, and it's working. And pretty soon we'll be doing a lot more interesting things inside this window. So thank you, and I will see you in the next video, where we will start doing, again, more interesting things with Lightweight Java Game Library.